In today's instructional video, I'm going to be showing you how to go from this to this to make an easy $10 FPV cam. So let's get started. Aside from the camera, you're going to need a servo lead. So I'm just going to take this one off from this old strip servo. The first thing I'm going to be doing is cutting off the outer cable, which is the white one. So I'm just going to grab my blade and carefully cut as close as possible to this. The next thing we're going to be doing is cutting these two cables right in the center. Now, don't be afraid, just go ahead and cut. Now let's split our cable. So as you can see inside one cable you have two wires. You have the ground connector and the, in this case the power connector. And the other one it would be the ground and the video signal. So I use the 14 gauge hole. That way I remove the protective covering without damaging the either either both of these cables. The last thing left to do is just connect the wires up with the servo lead. So these two wires are the ground connectors. So I'm just going to join the wires and kind of get up to the black wire and the servo lead. Next would be our red wire which is the power one. So I'm just going to join these two wires like this. And the last one is our video one. Now I'm going to add some power glue over the wires to protect them from making contact. I cover up the connections by using some black electrical tape like I did with this camera. So I mounted this camera and this arm facing upwards and the one that we just modified facing straight. So let's test them out. Let's first connect this one up. And you can see it's pointing towards the planes. Now let's connect the other one up. And that one's pointing towards my transmitter. Right now I'm using a 5.8 GHz video transmitter and as you can see the connections are perfect for this connector. Just connect it up and you're ready to fly. Right? But the other day I got this video transmitter from Hobby King. It's a 1.2 GHz 700 mW video transmitter and it brings this connection and this does not work for this so for next week's instructional video I'm going to be showing you how to connect up the $10 FPV cam to the 1.2 GHz video transmitter now if you're in the future just click the annotation at the end of this video and it'll take you directly to that video and if not you have to wait a few days also, down below in the description, I'm going to have the, the link for this video transmitter and for these cameras. So that's pretty much it. If you want to see all the coming videos er and everything else, all you have to do is click that button down there and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.